Boeing 747 LCF, large cargo freighter, better known as the Dreamlifter, wide body cargo aircraft developed by Boeing Company specifically for transportation of large components of Boeing 787 Dreamliner. In the middle of 2000s, the new Project 787, being the most advanced model of Boeing, required the cooperation of many partners all over the world. Technical and economic studies made clear that delivery of plane parts, generally from Japan, on ships will delay the production. Therefore, it was decided to deliver them by air. Despite the high cost of this method, it was more preferable. Besides, there was good experience of similar works already. European Airbus has been effectively using their Airbus Beluga and previously Super Guppy transports. But for transportation of Boeing 787 elements, a very large internal volume of the cargo compartment was needed. The only option for Boeing was to create modification of their biggest airliner, Boeing 747. The option was released. Dreamlifters were made from four second-hand Boeing 747-400 airplanes. The first parts of 787 were loaded on the new large cargo freighter in June 2006. In December, Boeing announced that 747 LCF would be named Dreamlifter, referring to the name of its main cargo, 787 Dreamliner. Certification was carried out in 2007. LCF aircrafts already began delivering parts of planes from Japan to the United States for final assembly very early as part of flight test program. Dreamlifters spent 437 hours in the sky during test period. The aircraft can transport up to 113 tons of cargo on a range of 7,800 kilometers. The capacity of the cargo compartment with a volume more than 1,800 cubic meters makes it the largest in the world. But the good performance was achieved at the expense of aesthetics. Boeing Dreamlifter looks absolutely ridiculous. Some American journalists once jokingly compared it with Weinermobile cars used by Oscar Mayer Food Company that looked similar to hot dogs. The plane's exterior became even worse because of immediate flight tests. Dreamlifters were not painted for a long time. Scott Carson, the Boeing company president, jokingly said to 747's father Joe Sutter, sorry for what we did to your plane. But new aircrafts showed very good performance. The period of elements and wings delivery from Japan to United States decreased from 30 days by sea to 8 hours by flight on LCF. The fourth Boeing 747 Dreamlifter started its service in February 2010. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and watch other videos. Fast flights and soft landings to you.